The next pouch in our beginner bag making series is PB&J from Great Hair and Thread Company. Stay tuned. We're going to get into the world of interfacing. And interfacing is something that's going to line the inside of your garment or your bag or whatever you're making, and it provides stability in the project. For this pouch, you need two types. You need fusible fleece. On the one side, it will be fusible, so it'll have kind of a bumpy edge, and this is the side that you'll iron onto your fabric. The other thing they recommend is Shape Flex, which is SF101. It's made by Pellin, and this is also a fusible interface. I will load these in my Amazon store. This bag has a little wristlet that you can put your hand through. These are also loaded in my Amazon store. The D-ring and a swivel clip, and they come together, so you'll get equal amounts of each. 120 total pieces, so you can make 60 projects with this, and it's very reasonably price. This is a great thing to have in your sewing space if you want to get into bag making. Let's get into it. First, we need to cut all of our pattern pieces. I like to use old pieces of mail that I cut into the templates that I need so that I have them for next time. Next, lay out your pieces for your front and back panels and we're going to sew those seams. Once you get that done, iron them flat and it's time to add that interfacing. Use the woven first and then add the fusible fleece on top and just make a little sandwich. Go back to your machine and top stitch on either side of those seams for the front and back panel. Should look like this when you're done. Now it's time to make our zipper tabs. You're going to fold them in on each other and then in on itself so it creates a little tab. Add it to the end of your zipper and then sew just a 1 8 inch seam right across the top. Do the best you can. Then it's back to the ironing board to create your D-ring tab. Same method as the zipper tabs, top stitch both sides, load the D-ring. Time to make a zipper sandwich. Lay your front panel pretty side up, zipper pretty side down, lining pretty side down. Sew the seam. If you are comfortable using your zipper foot, that's great. If not, just use your regular zigzag foot. It just will not be as close to the zipper teeth. And that's okay. You're learning. Be nice to yourself. Fold everything down and top stitch that zipper tape down. Now repeat the entire process on the other side of your zipper tape. Look at you making a bag, you sewing wizard. Make sure your zipper is halfway open. You're gonna need that when you turn the bag. Place your D-ring tab on just the front side and baste it there. Now it's time to box the corners. Cut a one inch square out of the front end lining pieces of every corner. Then you're going to sew all the way around except for the little spot right here on the lining piece and also in your little corners. Don't sew those. Don't stress about sewing over that zipper. It's going to be fine. Just take your time. Once you've sewn the perimeter of the bag, it's time to box the corners. So open those up, match the seams together, and sew a little quarter inch seam across the bottom. This is going to create the box that helps the bag to stand up when it's open. Turn the bag through that hole you left in the lining, poke out all of your boxed corners, and then sew a little edge stitch right along this lining piece. The bag is done. Now make your wristlet. Go to your ironing board and fold in on itself and over again. It's the same system the whole way across this project. Load your swivel clip hardware onto the wristlet and then open up the short ends. You're gonna sew a tiny seam right across those little short ends, about a quarter inch seam. Finger press those seams out and then fold everything back together and you're gonna top stitch both sides of this. You just have to move the swivel clip as you go. Last step, sew a tiny stitch just to hold that metal piece in place. And look at you, you made the PB&J pouch. This pattern is available on the Great Heron Thread Company website and I highly recommend it. Like and follow for more.